All right, welcome back for a new update video. This time uh, we're gonna start by looking at the last update and finding the secret code. And this week we have a winner. So congratulations for finding the code. It wasn't too hard for this one. Let's jump in and let's see where it was hidden. I'm in the itch.io app and let's launch the latest version. All right, so to get the code, you need to go in the map. And then the only thing you need to do <laughs> is to look for a, a broken tile. And if you don't find one, you can reload because uh, in this terrain, uh, there might be some tiles that are not, uh, that doesn't exist and the uh, generator doesn't find any tile to place there. So you can go under the map and then you find the sign and we get secret code well hidden. Perfect. So what is new this time? I re I rewrote completely the terrain generator because the last one I had didn't really work well with the auto tile map thing. If I go in the first one. Yeah, so the first one I had didn't work because I only had uh, pieces that was not connecting correctly and it was kind of hard to place them. So I tried another way. I made uh, 3D tiles where they connect together. But the problem I had with that is if I continue with this kind of tile, I need to do a lot more tiles. So if I go in my uh, Blender file, so this is the, the tiles in uh, 2D. If it was a 2D game, I would only need those uh, 15 tiles. But uh, here I need uh, to check the uh, top and bottom. So uh, I need to make tiles for all of those. And then I need to make tiles if the top and bottom are used only. And then to do all the same time tiles again. And then I need to do the same thing if there is a tile above and over. There is one over on, on the side and this one on the corner too. So I need to do too much. So what I decided to do is to divide those big tiles into four smaller tiles. And that gives me those one. So with those smaller tiles, I can build the bigger one. So with those smaller tiles, I can build my bigger tiles very easily but i don't want to paint them manually so i made a script that does that for me kind of like in 2d with the bit mask but in 3d so i need i had to configure all of this so i have my top up left tile top up right and all of this so now I did a dictionary and all of my tiles are in there. I have 24 for now, but I'm missing uh, two more that I will add later. And this, uh, when my script checked every neighbor to get the good one. If my if I find the mask, it gives me the mesh and the orientation and then place it in the map. And the result of that is a completely uh, procedural map. I can change the height, can change the size, and now I should never find a hole in this map. And I did, th uh, I did different way to generate the map. I have the random one that use a Perlin noise, and I made one that you can uh, draw. So if I come here use my grid map and uh, if I draw anything in the, in there it, it it will be it will be converted when I press when I play 
it generated the map. And I also added so it builds walls all around the grid map. And now for this, uh, this version, if you want to try it, uh, in this corner of the map, you can load a random map like before, but this time it's uh, you have uh, bigger terrain. If you want to explore that, and if you are here, you can press uh, the L button again to return return to the main map. And now for the quest of this update, you can come uh, in this corner. There is a sign, and if you load. It's a parkour map. What you need to do is some platforming. And this is the tile that is missing. I will add them soon. And yeah, I will do a small parkour. And at the end, there's gonna be a sign. And all you have to do is, as always, place the sign in the comments below and uh, yeah this time I fixed if you fall in the void you respawn so uh, no more closing the game so that's about that's about that all right so that's it for this update I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching bye bye